This channel is uh, a variety channel and I'm covering a trend in the news. We've had another major hack. The hackers have ransomware. They've been identified as Revil or R-E-Vol and um, they are demanding 70 million. Uh, some people are saying they're not going to get it but uh, there's a number of articles that uh, I can give you the link to, they are below. And this story is still unfolding. Uh, these are This is a major company. Now I'm going to give you a quick rundown, but it's just going to be, if you want more detail, look at the links. So it's 70 million, right? These are the key points. The company's name is Kaseya, and it's a company you probably never heard of but is a major player behind the scenes in IT support and security support for many uh, uh, mid, mid many businesses. So uh, I'm going to give you some of the figures in a second. Here's a screenshot of uh, DuckDuckGo search and the company is headquartered in Ireland probably for tax saving purposes and the CEO of the company lives in Florida no income tax in that state there's many states that don't have income tax but they still have to pay federal okay so this is the company website screenshot it says unified IT management software and um, all this stuff is public information and I'm just cutting it down into really small bite-sized chunks you can hone in on what you're interested in I thought this was relevant 800,000 to a million small mid to mid-sized businesses around the world uh, is the division of the segment that was the ransomware attack so he calls it MSPS division well, he doesn't use the word division. I'm using the word division. It's, it's, uh, so <clears throat> here is a screenshot of him saying who the affected businesses were. And then there's also other facts and figures he's giving. And um, he's saying 50 of their 37,000 customers were breached. Um, if you go to the cybersecurity CISA website, and you do know this is your vendor, you probably should take immediate action. They shut down stuff. It actually if you go to their website and you look at the timeline, it it they noticed something was up on Friday, July 2nd. Um they shut they they stopped it from spreading further, deeper, and wider. Okay? But today is as I'm doing this, it's the seventh at 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now they're international and uh, the CEO was the spokesperson publicly uh, Fred Bossiola. Here he is and <clears throat> these links are all below you can check in on them better. Uh, the last update I had was July 6th at 10 p.m. from their website screenshotted and they'll probably have more updates today but it sounds to me like they're saying it's not that serious but you know the president and the FBI are involved good PR but they call it remote monitoring uh, software that was affected now there's a cybersecurity expert by the way this is a screenshot of if you if you watch the video the videos below from the spokesperson at the company, uh, I guess they call it Kaseya. I might be pr pronouncing it wrong. I honestly, I never heard of them until now. Um, you know, there's so many layers in businesses. So here's three of the uh, core uh, things that they, and this is the 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 section that was affected uh, before they shut it down. So these are the references of the articles and videos that I watched. Um, this is the, the uh, video of the CEO. So it's 
K A S E A. Kaseya. And uh, this Kevin Beaumont really gives a, a, me a really good a breakdown of this. He uh, has lots of graphics, and I think I'd like to take you to th there just for a quick minute. A quick hot minute, and then I'm going to have to jump off. So, basically, he gives graphic, uh, like, screenshot views. He wrote this on July 2nd. And, um, I don't know when he last updated it. He has a LinkedIn, a Facebook, and a Twitter page where you can follow him. So, he's saying that this is what an infected system will look like. So, if you are affected, I mean, you might want to look uh, more in depth at this. And also, uh, SISA probably is already on it. But they're condensing it in a nutshell, what you, what you should do. You go to the, the website for CISA. How is it going to affect you? Will you be affected? Yes, you'll be affected. Um, you know, you, you don't, you know, it's just like the um, attack on the pipeline or these other infrastructure things. So... It's basically uh, tampers with the Microsoft Defender endpoint, and um, so on and so forth. Anyway, um, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, so... Uh, this was, he screenshotted this, uh, the, the 2nd of July. They write that kind of backwards from CISA. Now, I find it funny that it's a little different than my screenshot. I don't know if he, if he lightened it up or what, but I, I have a screenshot up here. And mine's a little darker. I don't know if that's... Um, intentional or what? Oh, you know what it could be? I usually keep my screen on nighttime. But even, see how I'm brightening my screen? I keep it low because my eyes are sensitive. They're uh, blue and um, the light, uh, I don't know, I'm light sensitive. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. And, uh... Maybe you can... Oh, wait a minute. It says the original release date was July 4th. So maybe the reason his page is different is he's got some insider information uh, that has... It's not the official statement yet. You know how they have the inner uh, circle and then they have the outer circle and the inner circle has the inside information in the outer circles, the public relations, so people don't panic. Anyway, guys, I don't know. We'll make sense of all this pretty soon. Thank gosh they were on top of it on the 2nd of, of July, on the 4th of July weekend. Thanks for listening, and have a great rest of your day. Bye.